So we're doing some research inside of the Mother's Day niche. This is coming up on May 12th, 2024. So about a month and seven days out. Now, this is the thing with this type of an event, this type of holiday, there's a lot of evergreen niches. We're leveraging this to get more traffic to our design. Think about it this way. We're leveraging this to get more traffic to our design so we can turn it into an evergreen niche. So when fourth quarter comes around, that design is selling two, three, four times a day. But ideally, the, the goal is if that design can sell 10, 20, 30, 40 times a, a month, right? That's the goal, right? So even after, let's say, Mother's Day is over and it's consistently selling every, you know, every week or every day, that's the goal. So you can do this. And let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and I went ahead and researched a few different ideas. And I do have a ton of tabs open because... When it comes to doing research, there's no right way to do research. There's a few different ways. It all depends on, you know, how you want to do it and the, the way that you want to do it. So I use, I le literally leveraged the search bar. I leveraged Merch Informer. I leveraged Google. Yesterday I did a video on how I leveraged Spreadshirt. They sent me an email and kind of looked at, you know, what keywords they sent me in the email or niches they sent me in the email. And then I went ahead and did a search on that, which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do is... I came over here inside of Merch Informer, Merch Hunter, and I literally just started just going down this whole rabbit hole. Mama Goose, that's a pretty cool one. And I'm just trying to find designs that are making sales. Like for example, this has, look at, this is a 90K BSR, two ratings, and you can see Mama Goose, Dance Mom, right? Look at this. So the, you can see that these designs, as we're getting closer and closer to Mother's Day, are starting to trend down. And we come down a little bit more, right? Look at all trending down. Now, my favorite player calls me mom. So this, these are all good. Mama Sita needs a margarita. And then think about like different holidays. So Cinco de Mayo, Mother's Day, graduation, Mother's Day, baseball season just started, right? And that's a whole nother video that I can get into because I was doing some really good research with baseball too. And Mother's Day. So we're mixing all these events and cur current topics and everything that's trending right now into what's what kind of will a mom wear this type of design baseball mom graduation mom you know and or look at like a sports my favorite lacrosse player calls me mom my favorite baseball player calls me mom right you get the point right there so you can literally just keep going down this whole rabbit hole and there would be a ton of different ideas in here if we come up to the top up here one cool one i wanted to touch on was the world's best puck now there's so many different dog breeds with this right here. The world's best pug, the world's best English bulldog mom. The list goes on. The world's best husky mom, the world's best pit bull mom. Like the, the list goes on and on. Mama corn, right? There's a lot of good stuff in here. There's a ton of good stuff in here. Now, one thing is this design right here. The first one we'll get into is just a good mom with a hood playlist, right? Now, look at this. The BSR is at 56K right now. Right, and let me go ahead and pull this up. Now it's they priced it at thirteen ninety nine. So what I'm assuming is they're doing like they're just trying to get that this this design to rank into the algorithm, and then once it starts to make more and more sales. And by the way, too, just to to re like double check, making sure that you're double checking for trademarks, anything with copyrights, anything that you think is infringing, making sure that you double check that on your end. I'm literally just going in here, checking it and making sure like so. I'll, I'll use like the Merch Informer tool to check and see if it's trademark, and then obviously I'll do. If, if I find a good design, I'll go in and double check it again just to make sure that it's not doing, I'm not doing anything crazy, which you can just do like a Google search, like literally just a, just a good mom with a hood playlist. You can just like do a Google search and just kind of go into more and making sure that's not a song or anything like that. But you're just double checking all that. And then as far as the research, everything is just, like I said, it's going to be <laughs> a little bit all over the place, but it's getting the job done. So right here. Look at this right here. So this right here, I was looking at this, looking at the research, trying to, let me see, there's no BSR on this one. No BSR popping up for this one. Come on, come on. Let me go back here. No. So this right here, what I did was went ahead and I just copied this, the title, right? And I wanted to see what's going on. So I copied this title, brought it over here and we have a result of 1000. Now, when you see stuff like this, like there's, there's a, there's a big demand obviously for this, this saying, and I put good mom with a hood playlist shirt and I type that in. And one thing I'm looking at is these BSRs. This is the overall pick right here 
570, right? And this is obviously not an Amazon merch on demand design, I mean, product, right? This is more of like the, the, the seller, seller central part of it, but that's not saying that you can't be a Amazon merch on demand design idea. Now there have different sayings, different, you know, the, the same saying, just different layout, mixing it up in different ways. And you're going to see what we're looking at is this BSR. We're, we got 175, 97. Let's go to the middle of the page more. And the middle of the page will kind of tell us more of how much demand there is in this niche. And let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 569, 557, 457. And we're looking at this. And one thing to say is like, there's there's definitely a, some demand, but I'm thinking not as much demand, but I feel like when you get closer to Mother's Day, there's gonna be more demand for the same. And with that being said, it's like, don't be scared to jump into these bigger niches like this, because if you do so and you jump into a big niche right like this and you start to rank on the front page and there's a lot of traffic, Think about all that traffic that you're going to get to that design because that can make all the difference in your sales for that month. That one design can make you over a thousand dollars for that month. Right. And one design making you a thousand dollars where you're not taking care of no inventory or shipping to no customer or, or, or taking care of no customer service that can be really big for you and your business. And that will give you that boost. And the idea is like, so let me try this again. If I go into a very competitive niche where, and that's one thing too, this is, it takes a little bit more brain power. Like what else can you do? Just a good mom with a hood playlist. Could you do just a good mom with a country playlist, with a hip hop playlist? You know what I mean? There's there's a few different things that you can do to kind of wiggle your way into a certain niche like this. So you're just taking that one word. That's one way to do it. Taking that one word because everyone, everyone and their mom has this design up. If you just switch out something and turn that keyword or, or, or switch out that keyword and then you have a completely different design and then you enter that niche and the next thing you know it, your design starts to pop up into the algorithm and you get a boost in traffic because you're that first design up, right? It's literally that simple. So just to take a little bit of brain work, it's not, I'm not sharing these, these designs or these ideas with you so you can just copy pixel for pixel and upload the design. That's not how that works. You probably get takedowns, a lot of takedowns from other sellers that will report your design. So don't do that so that's just to give you an idea let's say like let's click on let's see if we can get like this one to kind of see what the bsr is looking like so we can get some idea of what the bsr is looking at Look over here dang i'm not getting no I'm trying to find one with the let me see all right so i seem to can't find one with the bsr for this actual saying i got got this one right here but it's like the data is it's like it's really hard to can say something because it's like 1399 1199 so the big price difference in it but there's obviously some drops in uh, the sales velocity i'm not sure like certain certain times of the, of the of the year there's there's drops in the in the sales velocity as you can see but so that one's a, just a, a bad example but for the most part like if we have some more data i'm pretty sure this is right here is going to be uh, a really interesting niche idea to look at for mother's day now the next so the next one was i came across somebody's loud mouth softball mama now, the first thing I'm thinking about is just switching out that one keyword. That's the first thing. I, but I noticed that there was a, it seems like there was a decent demand for this by looking at the BSR. Now, especially with baseball, softball, right? You know what I mean? Those are, those are, those are two different sports, but same, same concept, right? Somebody's loud mouth softball mom on that. What can you do here? You could switch it to baseball, soccer, football. There's the list goes on and on and on. So what I did was came over here. Somebody's loud mouth softball, softball, somebody's loud mouth softball mama t-shirt. We got a result of 5:30. So there's low competition in here, but like what I would do right here to enter this type of niche right here, I would come in here and try to figure out what else, what else can you do? What, what other stuff they can you do? And then I literally started just going down the rabbit hole and finding other niche ideas. Soft, softball girl. And see right here, they're using that groovy style text, but we have some BSRs of 352, 686, right? So there's definitely demand for the same. Now, as I went and sort of did all that, right, I found Somebody's loud mouth soccer mama t-shirt. And this has got a result of 504, right? You come down here, we have a BSR of 253, 345. Some good stuff. So if you're unaware of what a BSR is, basically the lower that number, the more sales velocity that you're getting. But, you know, for the most part with like Amazon Merch On Demand, it's like if it's consistently between, you know, anything below like 500K or sometimes even 800K, it's most likely a consistent seller and it's selling every week, right? So that means that there's a demand for that and people will actually want to come on to Amazon.com or just think about in general, like if you're selling on Etsy or Redbubble or Spreadshirt or wherever you're selling, this could be a good idea for you to uh, create a design like that because 
it would be or, or just even come into the space of, you know, just soccer mom or softball mom. Right. That's more of like the general niche. Like and, and if you enter that niche and you create something cool, you can possibly create a top selling design for that product. Right. So. And then what I did next was baseball mama and we have a result of 840. Now baseball, like I said, it's, it just started a few weeks ago. So obviously there has to be some type of demand for this over here. Right. And we're looking at this and by looking at the BSRs, 920, 924, we come down a little bit more. We got 450. We got a two sided one right here. This is interesting. 117 K BSR. I'm not sure if that just sold one time, but somebody's loud mouth baseball mama and you can see what they did there i'm seeing a lot of double sided you can see right here it says bull sided which is pretty cool because it's a you can charge a little bit of a higher price point but uh the royalty you have to understand the royalty too as well when it comes to that and go down we'll get and then we're kind of in the middle of the page 512 736 so long sleeve it's selling on long sleeve so there's definitely just think of the concept, get the idea, see what's going on, see what's trending, see what's going to happen, what's happening in a current event that's happening, and then figure out this is going to work with this baseball Mother's Day. Go, that seems to be going hand in hand right now. And this one too. So I did a, the merch, you know, using that merchant, merchant former trademark check, which is pretty cool. But Hot Mess seems to be trademarked. And this is probably, this one was probably up, maybe up before then, I'm not sure, or maybe they own the trademark. So the design's up there. If you click on it, like literally you just click on it, you can kind of, you'll see hot mess. And then if you go into the USPTO and look at all the information, you can see that it's live. Now let's go right here. This was the next one that I found came across weird, weird moms built character. This right here is pretty cool. I was like, huh, that's a, that's an interesting design, right? He has that retro groovy style text. And if we look at the all time sales, you're going to see that it sold last year, 2023, roughly right before like mother's day in the, in the month of May. And then if we continue to look, it's literally, if you look at this, this is some good data right here. There's some good information because it's like, it's made its first sale, but it looks like it continued to make sales throughout the whole year. Right. And this is something that you want to do. As a print on demand seller, this is something that you want to do because if you do this like this, you're going to see that this is going to make a big difference in your business because you're leveraging trends. And then when it comes around next year again for Mother's Day, right, there should be a top selling design for you in your portfolio, right? And that's what we look for. So, and you can see that they're using Mother's Day inside of the, the title of, of the product, right? They're using that right there. And I went ahead and did a search over here just on Amazon, weird moms build character shirt. We got a result of 244 okay and if we come down we have another t-shirt design that's at 94 kbsr right which is that's pretty dang good there's one that's at a million eight million come down a little bit more you have that this is i think pretty sure this is that the both sided front and back weird mom spilled character yeah on back 203 I'm seeing a lot of the front and the back so that's <laughs> that it's more than i've ever seen before that's pretty cool. Weird Moms Build Character, 275. You got to look at so Weird Moms Build Character. They're using Opossum, Opossum, Opossum right there for as that. That's pretty cool. And that's one way to do it. Just kind of using like an like a any type of like animal or, or in the, you know, any type of like maybe like their favorite dog. That's one way to do it. Kind of enter the niche that way. That'd be a good idea. 168 Weird, weird Moms Build Character. That's a pretty, that's a, that's a decent one right there. 167, 117. And like I said, if we're just looking at these BSRs to make sure that people are in here, they're they're buying and it's consistently selling, right? Next one was my favorite doctor calls me mom. So if you're looking at this, my favorite doctor, like literally switching out doctor to something else is one way to enter a niche like this. It has that groovy style retro font, right? If we come down, we look at the all time BSR, you're gonna see that it's made its first sale last year, right? And it's around the same, t closer, close to Mother's Day, right? But if you look at the whole, the actual design now it's consistent consist it was selling consistently not too much but we're getting closer and closer to where it, it's made its first sale and it seems to start to tickle tickle in more sales right trickle in more sales into the algorithm and rank more and they're leveraging that keyword mother's day into the title too so that's probably helping now if you come over here we have a result of three thousand. my favorite doctor calls me mom shirt and you're going to see that if you come over here looking at these BSRs, right? I love my doctor. My favorite doctor calls me mom. Come down a little bit more. These BSRs are pretty good. The one that I just shared with you, I feel like the design is a little bit lower on the t-shirt, but by looking at it though, look at like, this is something that it, when it comes to this type of stuff, it's the market decides like, even though like some of the, you think that some of these designs are better than this design, the market decides like what is the better design. 
it's not you because you're not buying the t-shirt and you may be an awesome t-shirt designer or you're an awesome graphic designer or awesome designer in general but at the end of the day the market's going to dictate what design they want and so obviously the algorithm will play a little bit of a role by pushing that 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 design out there and there's a few different things there's a few different designs that you can get inspiration from look at i am a mom and a doctor nothing scares me it's like Look at, we're finding some good stuff in here. There's a, probably a few different sub niche ideas in here that you can just, this is what an awesome mom looks like. 76 K BSR, 221 K BSR, come down a little bit more. Yeah, look at some really good BSRs in this niche, right? And I probably would have never found this if I didn't do research. Now, this is probably one of my favorite ones that I found for the day. Moms against white pet white baseball pants basically the moms you know have washing the white baseball pants they're always getting dirty because you know they're, they're just baseball you're sliding you're diving you're you're playing the, you're diving for the ball in the grass or you're rolling around the grass with baseball and you get all these stains so i thought this is a really cool simple text-based design nothing too crazy about it at all right and this this is a perfect example when it comes to amazon merch or just print on demand and if we look at this like look at it it's 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 making a good amount of sales i'm not sure what happened here but now it's starting to rank back back in to the algorithm and make sales at 37k bsr right now right and just just a simple design right nothing too crazy and if we look over here do a search over here you're going to see that it's 118 results with this 118 results with the search term right here and if we come down you're going to see that the bsr in here is pretty good we got 43k 68k 138k and as we go down 236k this one has no bsr yet 279k 95k 92k yeah it's a, a really good design idea or niche idea when it comes to you know mother's day and funny just to think of funny funny sayings for mother's day right perfect example <laughs> and baseball next idea will be my first mother's day as a grandma so anything with a like first mother's day and then now think about like grandma great grandma there's a ton that can be done here some so many different awesome ideas in here cool thing about this one is just it's on a white t-shirt right so it's a lighter color design or, or dark design on a lighter color t-shirt right now me personally i sell a lot of like black t-shirts so i'm doing a lot of like lighter color but one thing i learned over the years is don't forget about the white t-shirts because they can make a lot of sales too. I'm a mom, grandma, and a great grandma. Nothing scares me. Now, just think about, you don't, this is the exact saying, like you don't have to use this exact saying, but if you can add mom, grandma, and great grandma into a t-shirt, right? Using those three like sub, sub, sub niches, that right there and create a design with a re really cool saying, that would be a good idea. And that's one way to create a top selling design. And not only that, let's look at this BSR because I know, look at see, I know that it's going to be selling throughout the whole year, but it's that, tr that you see it's trending down for Mother's Day. That little, the data is telling you like, it's going to give you a boost in sales, but it's going to sell throughout the whole year. And this is what you're looking for right here. You want to do something exactly like that. Now, last year, this design went crazy, right? My son-in-law is my favorite child. This is like this is like the top selling design last year for Mother's Day. If we look at the all-time sales and it's doing, it looks like it's repeating the same process again. Look at that thing crushed. Remember that? Like we're like, I was doing research. I'm like, why is this design crushing it so freaking much? And it's, yeah, look at that. Even this year, it's still doing really good. And it's look, it's already at eight thousand seven hundred eighty-one. So it's like, it's, and it's at twenty dollars fifty cents, right? <laughs> so it looks like it's gonna repeat itself again, repeating itself again, and making sales all over like it did before. If you enjoy this type of content and you want more research ideas like this, watch this video right here next. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out.